to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth. My battle cannings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan roads. The iron throng. The lender of silver gelds. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Talk to hide them about my next target. If 
an evil man brings you biscuits, do you gift them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. This well. Not a lot of fight in you, is there? You might be surprised. What do you want? I'd like to do with words what the Corrin deprives my fists. What? I want to have a flighting match. I am ready to duel. My bet. Now speak. Let us see if your skills are a match for your pride. I am feared by all men, be they Northern or Saxon. And your thick little skulls fit for grinding my axe on. Stronger than I thought. Oh, you think you can scare me? I'm tougher than you. Test your might against mine and we'll see how you do. How dare you? Let's dispense with these poems and have a real row. If it's fighting you want, I shall take you on now. You think you're good with words, eh? How about your fists? I will have my winnings, please. Earn them! Now you pay! <laughs> Yourself. I must say I'm impressed. A test for the mind and the body. Take what you've earned. Thank you. I will. Ofa told everyone he was Christian. He was not. He was one of us. He only wanted the silver and the swords for his men of Mercia. And you have kept his tradition going? Without flinching. Without hesitating. Ofa would be proud of me. You must have seen 100 summers, old man. It feels thus. Go! 
some razor cup and lose some silver. You, you look thirsty as a flaming fish. Drink faster than me, you win the purse. Let's see the shimmer of your silver, friend. Bet in the whole hoard, huh? Ready your cup! I'm feeling a bit dry over here! Hey, fellas! <laughs> We're a bit green, friend. Staggering already. We'll be kissing a flagstone soon. We must all turn to the Order. It keeps people well placed. It is not truth, but true power. You desecrate the very purpose of life. No, no, no. I place power on power. The great becomes greater. You will see. Rest easy, Reeve. Your time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a Reeve.
The first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf, as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock, as were you. I was building a boat to carry my family to safety one day. And what of the orphans you left behind? Do they get a boat? A brigade of bastards. They are the only ones left ruling England. My people were of the Wiccan Kingdom. Now we are ruled by Christ-beaten bastards. There is a player in every port and city. Fortune favors the bold. Are you brave enough for a game or two? Let's do this then. You are an eager one. will do.
are not like this. Interesting. Death now, stranger. This will do. Interesting. Well fought. 
Oh, you are pretty good. Shall we go again? That is enough Orlog for now. I serve the young Athelred. He will rise one day. He is no Alfred, from what I hear. I lie to everyone, and they will never know. They will tell stories of me as a good man who served his lord. Your Huger walks with a new beast.
I wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. He could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scop could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No. I'll leave your reputation as it is, here in the blood blackened mud. family. I love them more than anything. And the families who fell by the Order's command, were they not worthy of love? You are a Dane. How can you speak of the value of a life? All are ranked as less than the acts to you. Not true. I see honor in many people, many places. You have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. Oh! 
These hidden ones, is that who you slave for? I slave for none. I am scrubbing England clean of its filth for the safety of my people. Ah, uh, listen. Do you hear? The excuses of a mind enslaved. <laughs> I sought pleasure with the silver I received from the Order. I shared it too, with many in need. Do not be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust. Shared silver always comes at a cost. What of it? I forged good from what you call evil. Lives were improved. Lives worth more than the silver that paid for them. I do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained.
Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for him. But I've never felt as much love for his god. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. Hmm. <laughs> 